much for joining us. Um, I am here with Haley Thomas, and she is our new social worker. Haley, we're so excited to have you. I'm thanks for coming here and explaining to us your role with HIE, uh, with Hope for HIE, and how you're going to be supporting our families. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I can't wait to work with everyone. Um, if you could just begin by maybe introducing yourself a little bit more, giving us um, a career background and overview, and then we'll get into it. Awesome. Sounds great. So I'm a social worker and I've been a social worker since 2008. Um, most of my career has been in hospital social work. So I have worked a variety of different places covering a variety of different areas. So I started my career working in adult hospitals and I worked a lot with families going through trauma, families in the ICU, and then I did end of life care. And then the very end of my career at the original hospital, I was there for about 10 or 11 years, then I started working with um, families during the beginning of life. So I worked in the NICU for a while and I worked with labor and delivery. And so I worked with families during those times of, um, you know, great loss. And also during times when their child was in the NICU for, you know, short periods of time or very extended periods of time. And then most recently before Hope for HIE, I worked, um, at a children's hospital near where I live. And I've been working with families during all kinds of times of life. So we also cover traumas, we cover the ICUs, we cover the NICU and just kind of general things. Like if someone, you know, here in the hospital unexpectedly and they need some support for, you know, a couple of days while they're here and things like that. So we kind of cover a lot of different times of life and a lot of different kinds of needs. That's wonderful. Um, and so all of that expertise is now coming to us. <laughs> I'm Yay. so excited. Um, what was your interest in joining for Hope for HRE or what was your connection to it? So I really love working with families and their children. And I especially love working with families during difficult times with their children. So when, you know, something kind of unexpected happens or you get an unexpected diagnosis, that's a huge passion of mine. And it, I really wanted to work for an organization where I could spend more time with families. And so what I'm so excited about with this role is I can work with families for very long periods of time. Instead of just kind of being with them for maybe a few days or a few weeks, I can be with them for, you know, years and years with their children. And that's been something I would have loved to do. And so I'm just super excited to be able to take, you know, my background and bring it to Hope for HIE and be able to support these families. We're looking forward to it too. And I know like you've just like already dived right in um, and getting started. And we're going to talk really soon about all of these projects and ways that you're going to be supporting our community um, and, and how that's just going to keep growing and growing. Um, before, I guess we get into like the nitty gritty details, can you just provide a quick overview of just like this general scope of what a social worker does for our community. Sure. And then we'll get into what you do for Hope for HIE. Sure. So basically a social worker, especially a community social worker, it's a very broad job and it really just depends on what you need as a family. So we do anything from, you know, helping get you financial assistance from different organizations. If you're struggling with housing insecurity or, you know, food and meal insecurity, we also work with families who are dealing with things like domestic violence or divorce, um, families having hardships where, you know, other people in the family may have gotten a diagnosis. That's not necessarily HIE, but, you know, linking you with some other support. Also, you know, just trying to help families connect with each other and to provide each other support. So I always tell people with social work, always ask always reach out because we do so many different things and we can do a lot of really small things and we can do a lot of really big things. So if you ever think, I wonder if this is something a social worker could help me with, there's no harm in just asking the question and we'll do the best we can to connect you with a resource. I love it. Um, and so we're so proud to onboard you um, as our licensed social worker. So, and I know there are so many um, facets to what you're going to be doing. Do you mind um, breaking down into more detail what your roles will be and, and how you're going to, the different ways you're going to support our Hope for HIE families worldwide? 
Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. So we're going to be doing a lot of things, but I'll start with some of the major ones that we've kind of begun talking about. So one of the big things is working with the support groups and figuring out which types of support groups best serve our HIE community. So right now we have a law support group and we have a new to HIE support group, but we would like to incorporate more support groups and figure out other ways we can provide other support. So I'll be working with the team and I'll be working with families and our peer mentors to figure out what other types of things we can do to support. And we've also talked about um, kind of some ways to add in additional support groups so we can have some more regular support groups. I'm also gonna be working a lot with building partnerships with hospitals worldwide. So I've already started, I've actually reached out to 70 hospitals so far, just to reach out to different NICU, PICU, and different um, you know, doctors and nurses and staff at different hospitals, figuring out how we can partner with them so that our information can get to families whose child is diagnosed with HIE as soon as possible so that they know about our support and they know how they can be best supported by not only the staff here, but also the support groups and the families and everyone in our community. And then we're also working with our peer mentor program. It started about a year ago and we're kind of ending our first cycle of peer mentors and we're going to be working to figure out what year two is going to look like so definitely more information will be coming about if you're interested in being a peer mentor or if you'd like to be a mentee and have a peer mentor we're hoping to begin that process as soon as we can to start that next phase yeah and and so when some people may not understand like what the peer mentor program is and i know we'll have more details for it later um but what information can you share with us right now sure um, about like what a peer mentor program would look like or in year two maybe <laughs> yeah so basically it's a way for someone who's usually a little bit further along in their journey with hie and their child to work with families who are more new, whether it's new to the diagnosis or who have had a loss Mm -hmm. of a child with HIE. And we connect them with someone who feels ready to be able to provide support, to provide guidance. And I'm also available as well to support both the mentor and the mentee. We are also looking at um, down the road, possibly expanding it to different parts of the HIE journey so that, you know, we can link families together that may be struggling or that may have, their child may have similar um, needs to someone else in the community. And then they can sort of mentor them and help them answer a lot of those questions and just somebody you can kind of count on to help you walk through the journey. I love that. So like in the future, like, cause there's so many different outcomes and impacts associated with HIE. So maybe like there's a family who wants to really work with another family, um, who is also struggling with epilepsy. Yes. Right. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yes. So- yes. That's one of the topics we've actually talked about is epilepsy just because, you know, you may be on your HIE journey and it may be a while before your child may get that diagnosis, but that may be a period of time where some extra support for, you know, six months to a year when you start that journey could really help. Yeah, that's so amazing. And, you know, a lot of this is really dependent on community feedback too, um, which kind of segues into our, my next, and probably the biggest question, which is how, (laughs) like how do parents and guardians and community members, um, how can they request your services? And like, is there a go-to spot where they can just see everything we have available? Um, Yes. Yes. So hie.support is the best place for everyone to go. That takes you directly to all our information. It leads you to anything hope for HIE that you're looking for, it leads you right there. And there is a section where you can fill out some information, whether you personally wanna reach out or if you're a provider or community member who wants to refer a family to us, you can actually fill out some information that directly comes to me through our platform, Unite Us. And I can go through their information and automatically in that system, give them referrals. If for some reason that doesn't work, you can always reach me via email. My email is Haley, H-A-L-E-Y, at hopeforhie.org. So that's also definitely an option as well. I love it. And so like already in our comments, we're getting feedback of like different type of support groups that people would love to see. Awesome. Um, These are the things that you can go to hie.support and see what's available, number one. But number two, um, email Haley, you know, yes, (laughs) make sure I 
I'll broadcast your email. So I would love that for the flood. <laughs> I would like, love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you know, and if for some, whatever reason you can't reach Haley, then I'm a great person to Deanna at hope for and I'll make that known too. And I can always forward it to Haley, but we're looking for community feedback. Like mm -hmm. that's something like we want to hear what everyone has to say and like, what are your needs? Especially because like you said, right now we just have two really consistent support groups new to HIE or newly diagnosed, um, and then loss. So that's just two facets of something that could be so much bigger, mm -hmm. but we want to make sure it's relevant and we want to make sure it's applicable to what you guys need. So, um, that's amazing. So I, we can't, you're just going to be pivotal in our growth, Haley. Like we're Betsy and I already Thank talked you. about it. We're just so excited, um, to support our families in whatever way we can. And you're just such a perfect fit. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, now I always, I know this is a short Q and a, because there's going to be much longer ones that go into more detail about like yeah. specific programs that are popping up later, but I always love to end it with, um, you know, just to hear from the expert, what are some professional resources that maybe you can provide our families in the meantime of like learning more about, um, child or family services, uh, for support groups or, or just things that you can give our community right now while they wait for more details to come about what we will provide them in the future. Yeah. So, I mean, I really just think going back to our website, the HIE.support is really the number one thing to do because it sort of begins the process of explaining kind of what we are as an organization and what we can provide. And then from there, it can sort of you know, take you in whatever direction you're looking for. And as far as social work, really and truly just reaching out to me directly is the best way because every family literally needs something different and kind of everybody's situation is a little bit different. So as, you know, time goes on, we are working on kind of little resource handouts and things like that, like especially for the peer mentor program. But in general, you can always feel free to reach out to me and let me know what's going on or what you need. And then I would love to put together, you know, a little packet or an email of lots of different resources for that specific family, because each family and their journey is so unique. Yeah. And you can tailor, that's perfect, because now you can tailor your response to what a family really needs as opposed mm -hmm. to directing them to just kind of this general website where it may not give them what they need at that moment. So that's perfect. Um, Haley, thank you so much. I thank believe you. Yes, I will. I'll forward you all the feedback and suggestions we got on our live comments. I They're wait. great. <laughs> um, but I can't wait to read them. You know, but in the meantime, um, we'll definitely just make sure that, you know, we broadcast your email and that people go to HIE.support um, just to start the process and we can hear feedback and we can make this as uh, good of an experience for anyone as we can. Yes. Um, thanks for joining us, Haley. And um, Thank you. we're so grateful for everything you're going to be bringing to us. And we can't wait to just dive right in. <laughs> Yes, I'm so excited. I've loved every minute of it so far, and I can't wait to continue. I love it. Thank you. And thank you to everyone in the community. Um, just so you know, um, I will make a blog. I'll make a key takeaways from this. Um, so that way it's easily digestible and accessible to everybody. Those will be posted in the next few days. Um, and I will just make sure this is on our YouTube channel and repost it in all of our main Facebook hubs and subgroups so everyone can see it. So Thank you for joining and thank you again, Haley. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.